Now, your KRBC Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosterud. Another nice start to the day here in Abilene. 74 degrees to get you out the door this morning. A little bit on the humid side, but as we take a look off to the northeast, we're seeing some clouds out there on the horizon. There are some showers and not really any thunderstorms to worry about this morning. Mainly those light to moderate showers off into the eastern big country through Stevens, Eastland, down into Brown County. Just seeing some light to moderate rain with these. You might want to grab that umbrella if you live out in Eastland or Brownwood or traveling anywhere into the eastern big country this morning. Take it slow on the roadways out there. Some of this rain could be a little bit heavy at times. We're not really seeing any thunderstorms out there, at least. This morning, a chance for thunderstorms does return later this afternoon, though. Future weather picking up on those showers this morning, really overdoing it, though. But it's really backed off on the rain chances later today. I still think there's that chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms across the big country as early as 3 p.m. later today. We get a little bit of that daytime heating going on. Could bubble up a couple thunderstorms out there. So watch the potential for some heavy rain with some of those thunderstorms. Could see some flooding on some of those roadways and creeks out there. Also, with any of those thunderstorms, watch that potential for some dangerous lightning today. That chance will linger. Into the evening hours tonight, a better chance is going to come off into the southeastern big country. Skies are going to stay partly sunny as you head into your afternoon. But after sunset, before midnight, we'll see really any of the last of the rain chances taper off. And this could be the last of the rain chances we see for at least the foreseeable future. So enjoy it if you get it today. Like I said, that better chance for rain going to come into the far eastern big country from Breckenridge, Comanche, Brownwood, Coleman. Also in that 30% chance for isolated showers today. The rest of the big country, including Abilene, we're just under a 20% chance as we head into your Friday afternoon. Today, like I said, really going to be the last of those rain chances, unfortunately, for the foreseeable future. Keeping it at a 20% chance for most of us. And then we enter this very dry pattern starting Saturday, and it's going to last into next week. Watch as our temperatures climb heading into next week, too. We'll stay in the mid-90s out there this afternoon. Thanks to those partly sunny skies. Seeing a lot more sunshine for your Saturday as our highs start climbing their way upward. Back into the upper 90s. Monday into Tuesday, here they come back. There's those triple digits yet again. We're going to be settling into a very hot weather pattern once again. Remember a few weeks ago, we just saw triple digit day after triple digit day. That looks like it could be the case again as we head into next week. And you'll see that in your seven day forecast coming up in just a couple seconds here. We're starting out in the 70s out there this morning across the region. Like I said, it's really doing overdoing it on that rain off into the eastern big country. Heading into your afternoon, though, we're going to see a little bit more sunshine off to the north. That's where we're going to see those 90s approach first up there. The rest of us hanging out in the mid and upper 80s this morning. But as we head into the afternoon, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover out there. And that will keep most of us in the mid 90s for our afternoon highs. 94 for a high here in Abilene. We could get into the upper 90s off to the northern big country with that 20% chance for an isolated shower as we head into your Friday afternoon. Like I said, enjoy that rain today if you see it because it's going to be very, very hot now as we head into next week with triple digits making a return almost every day. We could be watching the potential for some heat advisories going out as we head into the middle of next week. Okay, appreciate that rain while you've got it. Mm -hmm.